Welcome back to this special playoff edition of Browns Live, powered by First Energy, Nathan Zagura and Joe Thomas. And very happy to welcome back in the head coach of your Cleveland Browns, Kevin Stefanski, for this week's game preview presented by Ruoff Mortgage. And it is great to continue to preview games. And while a lot of the show obviously focused on the great win over the Steelers, we know you are not satisfied. We want more. That's the Browns mentality. Let's go 1-0 and again this week. And it is a tall task. The defending Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs, when you start to dive into that team, what do you see on tape from Kansas City? Yeah, you see a very well-coached team, which is no surprise to anybody. I think Coach Reed and his staff do an outstanding job. Uh, they're a unique challenge. Uh, everybody knows about their offense, which is really difficult to defend both from a schematic standpoint and just the personnel that they have. They have a bunch of weapons on the perimeter uh, that they, they can hurt you from the backfield. So we really have to be on point defensively. I think they do a great job of, of playing multiple coverages. You have Tyron Matthew down around the line of scrimmage and he's disguising and he's blitzing very active player. And then on special teams, they, they've historically always done a great job with coach Tobe. Uh, being very sound and and fast. They've they've really a lot of team speed. So we have our work cut out for us. And that's part of this uh, week is is finding ways to slow them down on offense and have to score points when when we get the ball. The Chiefs and Andy Reid in particular have been really good coming off of a bye week. They're coming off of a bye week here with the only team in the AFC that's got a bye in the playoffs this season. How do you overcome the advantage that the Chiefs could perceivably have when they were able to sit at home last week, rest their players and watch everything unfold and watch the Browns win and be the team that they face. Yeah, Joe, and they rested players in their last regular season game versus the Chargers. So they really have had more than uh, just a week off. So uh, Coach Reed, as you know, historically is is good coming off of those buys. So they're going to be healthy. I'm sure they'll have some things for us that they haven't shown, but really it goes back to us and and making sure our guys are healthy. You know, we're coming off of a game, but but we're mindful of where we are in this season. So making sure that we get guys the proper treatment they need, the rest they need while getting their work done. So really put the focus back on us and what we have to do to get ready to play Sunday. Before we get you out of here, coach, our best fan energy question powered by first energy comes from, I wish I was a Fox. And he asked this, and we know this from a whole season of Tiger you. you are so focused, unwavering, and committed to being the process and the task at hand. Where did that come from? Where was that instilled in you? And how has that gotten you and helped you get to this point? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and, and I don't know any other way to do it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there's other ways to do it that work for other people. But for me, I, I just try to focus on what's in front of me. Uh, and, and that's served us well so far as a team. And we're just going to continue to do that. Coach, thank you so much for the time. It is great to have you back in the building, back on Browns Live, and best of luck on Sunday as you look to go 1-0 against the Kansas City Chiefs. 